Get out of your truck, sir. Get out of your truck. Get out of your truck. Ma'am? What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of LSPDFR. In today's episode, we are going to be with the Los Santos Police Department patrolling in the Chevy Impala. This is going to be one of the last vehicles in the pack that I am going to use before we move on to better and uh, newer vehicles. We are going to be patrolling the Cypress Flats area today. And uh, it's a nice rainy day today, so a change of scenery. It can't always be nice and sunny here in Los Santos. So, uh, yeah, if it's your first time stopping by, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. If you enjoy this episode, make sure to hit that like button. It is greatly appreciated. And let's begin this patrol. And right off the bat, we got this guy that just ran into it. Sir, get on the ground. Get on the ground, sir. I don't even know why you're riding a bike in the middle of the day. Or middle of the day, yeah. But uh, while it's raining, one, he doesn't have any helmet on. Uh, but, I mean, he blew the red light. We clearly had the green. Damaged our car five minutes into the patrol. Let's get over here, bud. Come on. Go ahead and put your hands no or get down on the ground. There we go. Uh, let's run his plate before we tow this uh, bike. It's going to be a Hexer 46 Edward Edward King 572. Plate. Coming six, back is Edward, Alec Edward Houston. King, 572. No, 1099. All righty, so no flags on the vehicle. Let's, uh, let's get your name, sir, before we uh, get you called in. Brian Connor, 521-1962. License is suspended, but no active warrants. So, uh, yeah, he's going to jail for sure. Uh, sir, do you have anything that on you that can poke us or hurt us in any way, shape, or form? Some used condoms, a receipt to limited LTD gasoline, and a train ticket to the Great Sea. Okay. Uh, a, bank heist a revolver in, and a flare. Uh, downtown Dispatch, we need a transport unit out to uh, Orchardville Avenue, cross of Hangar Way. And hey, they're arriving on scene now. We didn't even get to turn our lights on because. Uh, it uh, startled me. I mean, I was not expecting that uh, 30 seconds into the patrol. So, dispatch, you can show us code for there, and we will be 10 8 returning to patrol. 1 Lincoln 18, backup needed in Orchardville Avenue, cross of Hangar Way. Respond code 3. Okay, dispatch, show us en route to that location. So, it looks like we have a motor vehicle accident on US Route 15. And uh, it's a little out of our jurisdiction, or actually our area of patrol, but that's okay. It's pretty slow in Cypress Flats, so not much going on. So we are going to assist in this. Kind of figured with the, uh, the way the rain was today that uh, we would get that. Um, we do have some new call-out packs installed, which this is uh, one of those calls as a part of that pack so uh, it's a great pack I, I did take these out and uh, I put them back in just so that uh, we could get rid of the older ones that we've been using for the last uh, couple months now so looks like we're arriving on scene it's going to be on the left hand side of the road uh, let's park here just so that the uh, tow truck doesn't get hit we'll go ahead and park right there and uh, let me jump across real quick. Alrighty, I believe it's going to be this officer here. Hi, what the heck happened here? Hey, Officer Miller, thanks for the fast response. According to the first infos I have, it seems to be a hit and run. Did you already talk to the victims and witnesses? No, sorry, I was helping securing the scene and keep the traffic flow. 
Okay, then I'll talk to the involved people to gain information about the possible suspect. Thanks. Meanwhile, I'll take care about take care about the traffic. See you later. Don't think that lady's gonna be the first one. I'm gonna just run through all this so that we can uh, get out of the rain. Hi, my name is Miller from the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Can you tell me what happened? Oh my God, I hope she will be okay. They just have taken her to the hospital. Calm down, everything will be fine. I need you to tell me what happened. Can you do that for me? I think so, but it all happened so fast. It wasn't my fault. I needed to pull away. From what? What did you pull away? Did your car cut you? Please be more precise. Yes, it switched to my lane without noticing me. I think it was a gauntlet. Are you sure about this? No, I'm not. Please ask the others. Maybe they can tell you more. Okay, thanks again. Just keep calm. She will be okay. All right, it looks like we're talking to this lady here. Hello, uh, Los Santos County Police, or Los Santos Police Department. Are you okay? Can I ask you some questions? Hi, yeah, sure, go ahead. The guy that flipped the car told me that he was cut off by a car which switched the lane. Is this correct? Yes, I had to brake hard to stop my car, but I touched the barriers anyways. Now look at my car. Sorry for that. Can you remember a license plate or the car type or maybe the color? Not really. I was focusing not on, not to crash. Thank you for your time. If you need anything, then contact Los Santos Co Police Department. Okay, so she's good there. Oh, I should have <laughs> should have checked that. All right, let's talk to this guy. He's probably going to be the last one. Hello there, I'm Officer Miller. It seems that your car is fine. Why are you here? Hi, I was the one that called 911, and I decided to stay because I have wrote down the car that caused this mess. Perfect, so you can tell me the license plate of the gauntlet. Yes, I can tell you, but it wasn't a gauntlet. Okay, then what car was it? It was a VACA, the license plate 08Y0 Nora. 078. Thanks for helping out. It will help to identify this reckless driver. You can leave now. Okay, bye. Uh, so yeah, I tried reading that without uh, without saying like Nora and that stuff, but uh, you know, because as a citizen, you probably wouldn't read it like that. So, uh, but I messed up. So we are going to be responding code two. It looks like I got to go forward. And pull a UE up here somewhere. So, uh, but they were able to locate the address for us, uh, which will definitely help us out. They're saying respond code 2, so that is what we're going to do. And we're going to flip it right here. Uh, what is good is that it is rainy, but it is uh, middle of the day. It's about 1 o'clock in the afternoon, so uh, if it was nighttime, it would be a lot worse driving through this stuff. So we're going to make our way. looks like we're about a mile, mile uh, and a half, just under a mile and a quarter out from that location. Oh, almost took that family out. I see, I see. I gotta go all that that is so that is definitely not what you would do. Okay. Looks like they're in the mirror park. I did not see what dispatch said uh, the location was. So uh, but as I am getting over there it's seeming like it's in the mirror park area. We are going to downgrade to uh, code one just so that we don't alarm them as we're coming up on their house. We want to make sure that they uh, that they aren't startled and that they try to take off from us. Now I do not know what type of vehicle that is. But it could be either one of those. I guess that would be like the Lamborghini style. I don't know. We'll talk to him. 
Hello, do you have a minute? I would like to ask you some questions. No, sorry, I'm in a hurry. I'm assuming you know why I'm here. Can you tell me why you have so much front-end damage to your vehicle? As I said, I don't have time. Please leave. I'm not leaving until you answer my questions. Why is there so much damage on your vehicle? Because some bastard hit me and now you are going to arrest me when they caused it. Well, due to you admitting to me that you were just involved in a hit and run, then you need to come down to the station for further questioning. No, I am staying right here. No, you aren't. Please don't make me have to use force. Put your hands where I can see them. This isn't fair. Last chance. Put your hands where I can see them. I do not know why I cannot arrest them. Go ahead and Stop, put your hands please. behind your back, sir. Get face down on the ground. Go ahead and put your hands behind your back. You are being placed under arrest today uh, for taking off from a scene of an accident. Hit and run. Uh, let's just, uh, do you have anything on you that could poke us or hurt us in any way, shape, or form? A pair of panties and a flare. Great. And what about your name, sir? Good. Yeah, let's just jump into the wall. Kevin Roberts, 4 7 He is wanted. And he has a valid license. So... Dispatch, we need a transport unit out here for Mr. Roberts. Uh, let's go ahead and get his car towed. Copy that, dispatch. Have a seat for me, Mr. Roberts. You don't need to be walking around. I'm going to just sit in my car because I'm soaking wet from uh, from your mess. So, yeah, we're just going to wait the arrival here. Uh, dispatch, you can show us, uh, show this call, code 4. And we will be 10-8. Returning to patrol once this transport unit gets up here. All units, officer needs assistance in Cypress Flat. All right, dispatch, show us en route to that location. So we're going to make our way over to uh, this officer. He pressed his panic button, which is never good. Never, never good. Where are they going to be at in here? Come on, get out. Get your gun. My God, finally. Oh, shit. Sir. I'm going to go after the other suspect. Dispatch, we have one that's down. Looks like we're going to get another one. Sir, get face down on the ground. Don't make me shoot you. Okay, dispatch, we got uh, the, suck the second suspect going to be in custody here in a second. Go ahead and put your hands behind your back, sir. You are being placed under arrest for attacking that officer. So that worked out pretty good. Uh, <clears throat> and the other the officer disappeared. Citizens report That's great. a 148 and Alvaro Alrighty, Rice. sir. What's your name? Tyler Rison 28-1967 Wonderful uh, license is suspended, and he has no active warrants. Okay, dispatch. We're gonna need a transport unit out here. For Mr. Rison. I don't believe we searched him, so that kind of sucks. Uh, and I hit that pole. Did I damage it? I think. I wonder if that's in the game or if I actually cracked it by hitting it. So. We are going to have to head back to the station, and I really need to turn off uh, how quick these uh, call-outs go. That's turned up for the live stream, so. Uh, but yeah, dispatch, you can show us code 4 out here, and we will be 10-7, uh, returning to the station to get a new vehicle. Attention unit 1, Lincoln 18. We've got a person carrying a knife in Cypress Flat. Okay, dispatch, I gotta try to get out of here. I'm just patrolling all these back streets, and, and now it's gonna screw me over because I can't get out of here. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I'm just going through the alleyways, which is something I don't usually do. Suspect is male. Here's our guy right here. We've got a criminal resisting Sir, In, stop running, uh, sir. Stop running, you will be tased. You've been warned. Dispatch, we have Police, a taser deployment. Sir, get face down on the ground. Get face down on the ground, sir. 
Good old Cypress Flats. Go ahead and put your hands behind your back. You are being placed under arrest today uh, for carrying a knife in public. I'm not Attention really sure dispatch. We are code What's the rush? No you know, why required. we're stopping. Yeah, it doesn't look like you uh, did anything. You know what? Let's get you in here. There we go. We don't want to be soaked either, man. Uh, sir, do you have anything else on you other than the knife? Any drugs? Uh, you know, I, I'm not really sure why you have it, but nothing. All right. What about your name, sir? Edward Velkov, 9-7-1951. License is valid. No active warrants. Okay. Pretty clean cut there. Dispatch, we're going to need a transport unit out here for Mr. Velkov. We are at Orchardville Avenue in Cypress Flats. Alrighty, he's going to be picked up there. And uh, Dispatch, you can show this scene code for... And uh, we will be 10-8, returning to patrol. Attention unit 1, Lincoln 18. We have an officer in need of assistance. And La Mesa. Okay, dispatch, show us in route to that location. 10 copy that. So we have a traffic stop backup that we are responding to. Looks like uh, we're going to be on the expressway there. Not sure if that, I think that's interstate... I don't know. I don't know the interstates around here. Interstate 20. Alrighty. U.S. Route 20. Not even an interstate. So we're going to be pulling up right here behind them. And uh, we'll see what's going on. Uh, it's kind of a bad spot to have a stop, but we can't pick them all. So, hey, thanks for coming along. I felt like I needed some backup on this one. This vehicle came up on a fixed ANPR camera. Apparently, the registered owner is on it. You want the arrest to be yours. Uh, yeah. Why would I put my life on the line? You can go. So we're just going to back him up today. Darn it, I killed him. Crossfire, and I killed him. That's not good. She started fire in dispatch. No, we're not code 4. We need paramedics. Did I call for paramedics? Yep, sounds like I, there they are. Yep, he was right in the line. I should have had a taser. That way that would not have happened. I feel horrible, but I can't do anything. Come on, let's go. We can't lose another. You asshole. Work with me, damn it. They Any didn't signs make of life? They didn't make it that quick, and he's already saying they did not make it. This is it. Come on, save the officer. Might as well get the body bag out. Oh, they were able to save the officer, so that's wonderful. Oop, tripped over them. And that's great. I am extremely happy. Obviously, it was not a fatal shot. I got her fatally, so we found a briefcase and a gym bag. <clears throat> I'm looking for more weapons. So that's great. I am extremely pleased with that. Extremely. Uh, multiple rounds of ammunition, so she was definitely out, uh, not up to any good. Is she still there? Okay, we're going to need to call a coroner. So we just want to make sure that we don't get hit here as we're, uh, as we're doing this stuff. Dispatch, we're going to need a coroner out to U.S. Route 20 uh, under the overpass of Capitol Boulevard. Go, dude. Go, dude. Uh, for the suspect that is down in the uh, the traffic stop, we're also going to need a tow truck out for a Karen Rebel. Dispatch calling unit 1, Lincoln 18. Citizens reporting a petty theft in La Mesa. And we need a plate ran on the Rebel. It's going to be 61 X-ray Ron Victor 185. 
Jones, Brown. Okay, we're going to get back in our car before we get hit. Uh, okay, there's our uh, first ones. Let's turn off our sirens. We need... Uh, I heard them pop. There they are. We are going to uh, give them cover as they are, you know, uh, doing this, obviously. We don't want them to get hit either. Who the heck is that yelling? Someone's yelling somewhere. And they're going to be done there. Dispatch, you can show this scene code for. And we will be 10 7 10 42. That will be the last call for the day for us, guys. I am very grateful for you taking the time out of your day to watch this episode of LSPDFR. If you enjoyed it, smash that like button down below, and I will see you next episode.